Hey everybody, it's Mr. Marcel, and today I am doing a Sci-Fi Robotech review on series figure number 30, Optimus Prime from Transformers Dark of the Moon. This was made by Kyoto. Well, it has the sculpture's name, but I don't know how to pronounce that name. I'll take a look here if you want to look. As you see on the picture, they have a picture of Optimus Prime with all his weapons and Energon Sword. It looks like he's going to battle some Decepticons or something. But probably Decepticons. If you don't know what Robotech is, then Robotech is this little device that can make figures posable. And so, this series is, is based on characters from science fiction movies from Japan and and US and as you can tell Optimus Prime this is from the US Transformers Dark of the Moon so you have more pictures of Optimus Prime of all his poses and what he can do all his weapons it says things about the figure but I don't know how to read all that cause it's in Japanese and I don't speak or kind of read, uh, read Japanese. Here's another picture on the side. And on the bottom, this has a little thing from Takara Tommy. So I'm really glad to get this figure because Hasbro hasn't been doing any great Optimus Prime figures this year. So Japan is doing great with Optimus Primes. Oh, okay, let's open it. There's Optimus Prime and all his weapons, name, hands, and weapons, and Optimus Prime. More things, the Sci-Fi Robotech, he's number 30 in the series. And on this side, it tells a story about Optimus Prime. I don't know what, what it says, but the weird thing is that it has a Decepticon logo in the back than an Autobot. So maybe they're doing a Decepticon figure character later on. You can see here they have pictures from the first and second Transformers movie, none from the third, even though this figure is based on the third Optimus Prime. Okay, let's let me take this guy out and show you what he what he is. Here is the figure of Optimus Prime. Great greatly detailed and a really great paint job, if you can tell by the light. Takara and Japan know how to do with Optimus Prime, unlike Hasbro for this year's toy line. Now let me just show real closer on the detail. From head to tom toe, he has a great paint job. Even the back's detailed. Well, maybe not the back of his head, but who cares? Now, this this Optimus Prime is uh, a really posable figure. As I show you, shoulders, second shoulders, elbow, hands, head, and neck back, hip, knee, foot, and toe for all of them. I do a pose right here. Yeah, he's kind of free on the waist, but it's a pretty awesome figure. You can do any kind of pose you want him to. They even had him one doing a really back kick, but that will take some Photoshop and a pull in the back to do that. Let me try to do one of his famous ones. I don't know. I think that's how the pose went. No, that's Star Screams, but you get the point. And and if you saw, yes, this prime can have weapons and different hand 
hands poses on his arms and let me show you that right now first let me show you the little label they have it says Optimus Prime from Transformers Dark of the Moon 2011 if you want to put that next to him now let me show you one of the first weapons his Energon blade he only has one blade not two like in the second movie just one and that's weird hopefully they do a little packet where you can get the other Energon sword and maybe some hooks and a different head one of them you can do is take off Optimus Prime's hand oh. let me take the Robotech part out and there's a hole in his hand and you can put this in any hand you want right there you can see this Energon sword's really big even in a person this is a big sword or you could take this hood piece and lift it up lift it up to right you can lift it up and just put it in the second hole in the more forward arm and take this out and put in this tiny hole huh. hold on D it's not want to do it but it's really easy to put in there there that if you want his second hand still in there so you can have his hand and the sword in it and let me show you now that one of the hands is open okay here's one of the sec open hand he has an open hand really wide and what you want to do for these hands is put the little Robotech one side in the hand and I'll put this in his hand nope okay there we go see the fingers don't have posability just the hands so you can have in different and if you don't if you don't want a closed fist you could have an other they have just open hands let me show the other hand for the right hand here's the second one. Oh, sorry sorry for my fat thumb if you can see it okay and the other posable hand they have is an open fist Sorry if the camera's not focusing. Okay. Let's put one of the hands in this fist. You just take it out. Real easy. Here's the oops. Here's the second one. And what the open fist hands do is bring out his weapons. Here's one of the guns. Nicely detailed. It's just all silver. No other details. It's like this on all the other weapons. But I don't mind that. You can put it on his fist. Like this. It's real heavy to the Robotech. It's because it's not doesn't really take it in. You'll need the second hand, the open hand, if you want to get a grip. If you want it to hold it. 
And now, let me show you the other weapons. Here is one of the other weapons. One like a minigun and a shotgun. Another one. This Optimus Prime has at least five weapons on him. That's more than all the other figures. And this weird one. I don't know what it, what it does, but that's all cool. You can put them, as you see, I put both the put both open fists on. You can have both guns, you know, multiple guns on the hands. And he's ready to take on Decepticons. And if you want to have all guns on them you could combine them how you do that well glad you asked let me first put all the weapons together first you start off with the big one you can put this big one because just like the transformers toy line this year for dark of the moon they have mech tech which has all these weapons on it you can put all weapons on an every hole that you could fit it in and just like in the picture on the cover that they shows all the multiple weapons you can put on it Sorry, these Robotechs are kind of a little hard and try to show you guys how. There we go. It's real heavy. Well, not to me, but to the figure it is. Because his hand's always down. See? Ugh. And there is the craziest combined weapons. So this weapon can take on the biggest Decepticons like Devastator and Driller. And now, let me show you the craziest uh, weapons they put. As you see, on Optimus Prime has holes on his shoulders and under his arms. That, for some reason, you can do this crazy thing. They decide you can put weapons of anywhere on this figure. Even the sword. Guns on the shoulders. Shoulders, arms, there, and that. Even though Optimus Prime's Energon Sword will never really go on a gun on the shoulder, it's just a crazy little imagination, I guess. So, if you like doing crazy stuff on yours, you this is one of them. Okay, let me put these guns back and let's do size comparison. Now, here's the best size comparison. Him to Deluxe Bone Crusher from the first Transformers movie. As you can see here, Optimus Prime is, is big for the del Deluxe size. So, if you've seen Transformers videos that use Optimus Prime figures that were much bigger with the Bone Crusher trying to fight, try to reenact the movie, well now people who like to do that, they can use this Optimus Prime than the other ones. Because this is a really good figure. I would recommend this Optimus Prime if you're an Optimus Prime fan or like a really good transformer even though this guy doesn't transform. Um, I'm sure this price is maybe around 40 50 I think I got a little discount off Japan Hobby. I can't remember how much but yeah it was like on sale on a little discount. So I would rec recommend this Optimus Prime if you like a good Optimus Prime figure or a Robotech figure. And so that is all I got of this video. Comment, subscribe, all that's good stuff. And until then, peace out.